If you're an avid Roblox player and you run into issues with your Wi-Fi constantly, where your ping is quite high and you're unable to play some Roblox games, we're going to address those issues in this video and help you out. Alright, so the first thing you want to ensure is that applications that could potentially be hogging bandwidth and causing you lag are disabled. Right, you've turned them off, you, you've closed them, and they're no longer taking up Wi-Fi. Things like Chrome and Spotify, Steam, Epic Games, all these things could be taking up Wi-Fi on your computer. And they could be taking internet away from Roblox. So how you ensure that that's actually what's happening, as you can see here, if I open Task Manager, you'll see that some of these things are taking up Wi-Fi. You just want to close things like Chrome, just close a window, right? You want to end those tasks, end those processes, and give more internet towards Roblox. That should potentially help you out and should clear up some lag. And um, another thing that you want to ensure is that you're connected to a stable internet. I'm currently on a wireless connection, which is not recommended. Uh, I recommend a wired connection. It is more stable. It is the best form of connection you can have. It's uh, it'll guarantee you the best ping, right? If that doesn't help you out, if you're if you're still facing some lag, and um, you're still facing some instability in your ping we'll move on to the next step so something that could be potentially causing you unneeded network issues would be your antivirus antiviruses scan your network and they make sure that no viruses or malwares are getting onto your computer through your connection you connect to roblox servers and your antivirus can sometimes be skeptical of that right it could be acting up bugging out whatever etc so you want to ensure that that is not what's happening. You just want to head on over to your antivirus. For me, I have Avast installed. You just want to open it. And you want to disable your core shield, web shield and behavior shield. Disable these two for you to look like something different and it'll say something different, but essentially it's the same thing. You just want to disable your antivirus and you want to load up Roblox again and check if your ping is better or worse. If it's worse, uh, sorry, if it's better, then that's clearly your your antivirus it's causing you problems right so you just want to disable that and you want to create an exception for roblox specifically so it doesn't cause issues anymore for most people you probably have windows just regular windows security you won't have an, an antivirus like me so you'll find that in windows security you just want to go over to your windows search bar and type in windows security and you want to head on over to virus and threat protection here you'll get like a, a button to create exceptions and you just want to add Roblox to that list of exceptions, right? And that'll make it so that your antivirus no longer blocks Roblox. That should prevent your ping issues and you should have a more stable connection. If that doesn't work, if that's not your problem and your antivirus is just fine, you want to move on to the next step. The next potential solution to your problem would be checking out your Windows Defender firewall. Your firewall could be preventing access to Roblox servers and therefore causing you lag and preventing you from accessing Roblox. So to solve this, you're going to want to head on over to Google Chrome and you want to type in Roblox port opening. Just like that. And you want to take note of this, this number that shows up right here. We're going to minimize this for now. And we're going to go on over to Windows search. And we're going to type in Windows Defender Firewall. You're going to open this. And this page should show up. <clears throat> then you want to head on over to Advanced Settings. It's like that. And this page will show up. You can close the other one. And you want to go on over to Inbound Rules. You want to click New Rule. Drag this over. Click on Port. Click Next. Select the UDP. This is important. You want to make sure this is selected. And you want to go on over to Google Chrome. And you want to select these numbers. You want to control C, just highlight and copy, right? And then you want to paste them right here, control V. You want to delete the space between the hyphen and the number so that it looks like that. You want to click next, allow the connection, next, next. And you just want to name it something like Roblox inbound, right? Finish. And there you go. So now you have a Roblox inbound rule and Roblox should run better i recommend doing the same for outbound you'll do the same thing i already have it here uh but you can do the the same Let's see for roblox outbound be the same steps you just do new rule uh port next the same steps repeated again i'll just do it again why not Let's just go ahead and click next on that allow the connection uh next next and just roblox outbound just like that 
and there you go. Then you want to restart your computer. You want to give it a quick restart. You want to boot Roblox again, and that should potentially solve your problem. If it doesn't, if your Roblox is still lagging, if you're still experiencing high ping, and you're unable to get rid of it, you can try to contact me in the comments, drop me a comment, give me your case, tell me specifically what's going on, and I'll try to help you. I hope this video has proven useful to you. I hope your problem has been fixed, and I'll see you guys a different time.